What would our lives look like if we responded and acted knowing that Jesus is the King of Kings? This is the Devo uh, that we will be talking about on January 14th. Um, my name is Jimmy, and the passage is going to be Matthew 2, um, verses 1 to 12. Uh, I'll be reading from the ESV. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he? Who has been born king of the Jews. For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I, take, that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. Going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country to another way. So in this passage, we have an account of the birth of Jesus. We hear about the different responses from, from these rulers. Uh, so for Herod, who was this Jewish puppet king under Rome, it's a act of, of deception in many ways. He tries to get um, the other three rulers, the Magi, to uh, find Jesus. Um, but we see that this isn't for true worship. Um, it's out of this wrong idea of who Jesus is, um, that Jesus is someone Herod can compete with. Um, or, or needs to eliminate um, when in reality Jesus is the King of Kings, um, King at his birth. Um, so I think maybe you, as we read um, this story about the Nativity or Jesus' birth, uh, there's the sense of, oh, Herod is the villain. Um, you know, just don't be like Herod, um, be like the Magi. And yet, I think there's this real uh, need to look at our own lives and who we see Jesus as. Um, we all have to make a decision on um, who we believe he is. If he really is um, the King of Kings, if he really is um, God who came in the form of a baby, then um, what would our lives look like? Um, would we be worried um, about just our, our own status, um, our own power, our own possessions? Um, yeah, even how we look, um, how prestigious of a 
school we get into. Um, if we're applying for college, that's just all been definitely on my mind uh, when I was in high school. Um, even now, just how uh, how much work and status can I get done in the workplace? Um, strive for these thoughts and goals of status. Um, but in the end, it's a trap. Knowing Jesus is the King of King, um, knowing we have this grace of following His light, His star, and just worshiping Him, I think that is the most freeing thing of all. So that, uh, yeah, is what I had to share for this Devo. Let me pray really quickly. Father God, I just thank you so, so much um, that Jesus is our King and came to free us from ruling ourselves. Um, pray that each of us respond and live according to that. Um, pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.